And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Draven, our first Rank Up Sunday deck. Uh, we're playing some classics, some decks that I've played a bunch today because we're going to have the seasonal tournament in one week from today, next Sunday. And uh, we're going to need to have three decks for that tournament. My plan, for, my plan is to definitely have, like right now, the plan is definitely Tarek Draven and Poros Give It All. Kind of debating between the last deck, but I'm, I'm leaning towards mid-range Frostbite for that being my last deck. So we're going to get some practice in with each one of those three. I could play Shivana Lux also. That could be an option. Um, you know, and then there's a couple other like little options. I could play Nightfall deck and things like that. But um, yeah, so I, I think that I think I'm probably going to be playing the Terra Draven Portals Give It All and mid-range Frostbite. So let's let's get some practice with all three of those today. See if that's that's what we want to do, and and uh, for our fourth deck, we'll play the Shivana Lux, and um, you know maybe we'll we'll see how that that deck goes. Um, maybe that one can sneak in here instead. But yeah, I really like this deck. This deck's just um, cur curving out, and basically all all three of those like these first three, uh, really all of them are, are decks that I feel like I'm, I can pilot pretty well, and um, I'm comfortable playing, and I think that's important whenever you're picking your decks for a tournament. Make sure you're comfortable with them. And know what you want to be doing with them. Uh, we're a little heavy on the spell side with 13 spells. But spells are very important, of course, for Taric. And uh, with having 13, uh, it's pretty easy to mulligan the spells whenever you see them in the opening hand. You can mulligan them and be fairly confident you're going to redraw other spells later. Starting the last time that we played this, we started trying Elixir of Wrath in here um, instead of Guiding Touch. And I was... I was fairly happy with the Elixir of Wrath. I want to give that some more try. Um, and, you know, we got the two Coaling Strikes in here now. Uh, let's see. And basically replaced replaced Crescent Guardian with Iron Ballista. Um, just, yeah, I think I like that more. How you can just lead off with Iron Ballista. Not have to worry about trying to get the Nightfall. That was kind of difficult to get the Nightfall. But we do have this extra Crescent Guardian in here still. So let's give it a try. Let's go with some Tarek Draven. Let's get some good practice in. Um, that's what we're going to be doing today with our Rank Up Sunday plan. Um, playing these decks that I'm uh, expecting to play in the seasonal tournament next week. Ooh. This can be a tough matchup. Yeah, this can be a tough matchup because... Because um, we're, you know, we're a curve out deck and... And, you know, just attacking with units and uh, Fiora Shen, you know, with having all these challengers and barriers and all that kind of stuff, they are pretty good at controlling combat. Do you really like the Culling Strike? Because that can take down a... I am one with the land. I can take down a Fiora or a Shen. So this is a very important card in this matchup. Raise your weapon, Sunwood! You're covered. Nature blesses her followers. Well, that's too bad. Who goes there? The guilty were bad. <laughs> the party has arrived. All right, yeah, got a lot of spells. I bring clarity. It is me. Please calm yourselves. Huh. Look sharp. Never submit. I hope they don't have three mana barrier, but if they do, it'd be like prismatic barrier. Okay, so Tarek's at 3 out of 7. Alright, and yeah, I feel pretty good about killing him next turn with all these mites and stuff. Um, let's see. So I'm going to want... So I want to, so I want to play... I think I want to play Pill Cascade and Whirling Death this turn. So I guess I pass... Honor 
I want my Pill Cascade to be my second card. This lets me keep Whirling Death available. I so probably don't need two cooling strikes. Well, I'll just keep them. Time for the money makers. Alright, so I'll level up Tarek. Hey, Cabo, good morning. And Foo for Life, good morning. Dark Dragoon, just in time, good morning as well. To protect all, never submit. And this should be game, but we'll see. I mean, I don't, I don't think they're gonna have like Will of Ionia. There we go, GG's. Perfect. Victory is a thing of beauty. Okay, we've got to go hard deck here. This will be some good, some good at practice. Huh. I think I may just keep all these. Yeah. Tarek is just too good. I, I just... <laughs> I don't want to not have a Tarek. And so if they kill the first Tarek, I want to have a backup. So playing Solari Soldier here is nice because it lets me have Transfusion available for the future. But I also can just pass and then next turn go Solari Soldier and Mountain Goat instead of playing Iron Ballista. Basically, how much do I want Iron Ballista? I think I want Iron Ballista. You know, like, basically, how much do I want Iron Ballista over Mountain Go? I don't change fate, but I can see it. Because this... So, no, because I don't think it's better to go... Because basically, I want this two mana, so... Right now... Last turn. Right now I have Tarek on four, and then on five I have Blessing of Targon, and then also plus Transfusion. Tar to get rich. No mercy for heretics. I just don't want to see, you know, don't want to see vengeance. Deal me in. Blue as the Serpentine. Never submit. Okay. So that's three. What's that you got there? Gross. Well, that's too bad. I had the best card possible. Okay, okay. Yeah, they did not respect... Yeah, they're not respecting Tarek by using... That. Uh, using that Vengeance on the Overwhelm instead of on the Tarek. Okay, so... 
I really want to draw a spell here that could ju targets just the Taric. I really hope so. Might? No. I can go double transfusion and level up Taric. And then. Punish transgressions. And then Taric and this thing would be can't take damage or die. I don't, I don't know if I just throw away both transfusions though. Just to do that. I couldn't just play. I know, like, one transfusion would, would technically level up Taric, but it level up Taric after the support. So it wouldn't it wouldn't give up the can't take damage or die. <clears throat> I really needed any spell to, to tar like to cast it on the Taric here. A Pale Cascade, a Might, um, an Elixir of Wrath. I needed something. Really, really anything. Transfusion, unfortunately, was the only spell. Because even if we would have had, like, Culling Strike, a Culling Strike would have been good to kill this Twisted Fate. I really need any other... any of the other 11 spells in our deck besides Transfusion. Heating up. I rarely forget and never forgive. So I will respect you, Captain. <sighs> but we're probably losing this now. Um. If we would have just had any spell besides transfusion, we win this, but we didn't. We had two transfusion, and so it looks like we're going to lose this. Crazy. Alright, hopefully we get a spell here, especially might. But, um... I don't know if they're going to be able to... Uh, Gold card during my attack turn. Admire me later. Mm. Hold it, partner. For beauty. It's not going to do it. I bring clarity. We might as well play it and and try to attack and hope they mess up or something. They had the vengeance. You know, like they they needed vengeance. They had that. They need like it turned out they needed that crumble. Like right, like if they didn't have that crumble, so good. The Taric would have been blessing of Targon, which would have been awesome here. So yeah, they they. Uh, had exactly what they needed. Shatter that. Who's gonna get in my way? Never submit. Let's do it like this. So if they do get gold card stun, they'll stun the grenadier, these two would come in. Oh, I usually love transfusion. I think transfusion's an awesome spell. It's just on this is just the one spot where it's unfortunate that it doesn't, you know, it's not something you can copy over with Taric. I'm turning the Grenadier, I want the, I'm doing it like this so the Grenadier is the largest thing. I'm gonna so that you. if a gold card, Grenadier gets stunned. If I support the spider, 
I don't have any Noxion Fervors or anything like that in here. If I do the Overwhelm on the Spider, then the Spider... not get stunned and one of these other things would. Yeah, I think Bastion's too expensive for this deck. I so just need to draw... Let's just go next. I'm gonna say I need to draw a Noxian Fervor that's not in the deck. So I'll play a different game. Okay. Alright, curving out. So we are definitely mulliganing the Ballista. And we have the attack token on turn four. Um, this wouldn't. Okay, so we have the attack token turn four, so usually we want to be able to play a spell with, you know, go Taric and then play spell and attack, which would mean we wouldn't play one of these two. So let's, let's just mulligan both ballistas. This will give me turn three to save up mana, or. I guess we'll have Draven. Because the Mountain Goat can help create that gem, the spell that we need for Taric. Okay, so I think I'm just going to be open attacking instead of playing Taric. This is just a pretty decent open attack. You cannot sway me. I'm going to save the Whirling Death for something more important. That right there, not too important. Ooh. Would have loved to play Kato this turn. I put them down to four. Or they're gonna be a hush deck. I can go for lethal. Discard Kato, discard Mountain Goat, and Transfusion. Or they're gonna have hush. Or anything like that. Lost in reflection. Now we're cooking. The protector of the mountain. So I only need to I only need to discard one because of the, the level up with Terex, so that's fifteen. Because they can't they can't have like single combat concerted strike, that kind of stuff doesn't work. Okay, sweet. That's probably what they had. Damn, I'm good. Terex's pretty sweet. Oh, no, that, that Shivana wasn't going to be leveling up. I, I still had the Whirling Death to kill it if if need be. No, I wasn't really worried about that. 
Shivana leveling up. We have the attack token turn four. So I love the first three cards, and I mean, I'm, I'm a big Kato the Arm fan. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep it. Perfect. Well, Draven would have been perfect, but we'll take Ballista. Not going to be playing the Mountain Goat, going to be saving the two mana for Pale Cascade. Huh. It's the Vile Feast deck, huh? Wasn't necessarily expecting that. Okay, now we'll turn the Pill Cascade into a draw two. Yeah. That's too bad. Beauty. Is this like a control deck or something? Just played Vile Feast and Vengeance. Ruination could be really good against me. Okay, they cannot have Ruination next turn now. Ours is the one true light. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Going, you know, going wide does sound good, but then if they do have I'm Ruination, that could shine. be not so good. You know, we don't have to worry about Ruination right now, at least. Okay, so I'm going to support, support, you support you. Alright, you support you, you support you. Bell Cascade here. I give you now, Hecarim can't block anything and survive. I'm okay. As I was gonna say, I'm surprised that thing's not blocking. On the board, we'd still have Kato and Tarek. and they are left with nothing. But we both have five cards in hand. All right, good trade. Well, Harrowing won't matter. They won't be able to play Harrowing before we're attacking them for lethal next turn. Come closer. <clears throat> don't fight. Second Draven's pretty good. That gives us Whirling Death now, which helps out with Overwhelm. Hush now. What's this attack about? Hey, buddy. What you doing? Don't need to put anything down to one health and let Vile Feast kill something. Well, that's too bad, gotta play this now. So that's number six. I'm just doing that right now so that... Like, it doesn't copy over, but now that's six. Now the, the Kato support will be seven, so then this will level up. Um, yes, it doesn't... I don't care if their Legion Grenadier dies, so... So have it... Uh, Unyielding. Yeah. 
basically want that. I wanted it to level up first before it supports, so it has the can't take damage or die. Be over soon. Ah, these grass, the undyings, keeping them alive. Okay. I'll just play this Captain Bear. That sounds good. I guess I could have gone Spinning Axe discard a Mountain Goat to get one extra point of damage in. I know what <clears throat> I'm not convinced that's gonna that extra point is gonna matter though. Captain Farron should finish this out. We could use a bite. All right. These gems aren't just for show. Feel the rush. Um, something like that. Um, what do I think about you, Kato? I mean. Good card. We have the attack token turn five. Let's keep Kato. There we go. Fortunately, didn't didn't find the one to be able to you know get some pressure on really <laughs> until until too late. But I had the elixir of wrath that cost one mana, so we're we can bank us a mana for elixir of wrath too. Yeah, it's for League of Legends game stats, and so that's what they named it after. Oh man, what a great card, after the century. What a great card. That doesn't scare me. Sure about that? Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Light the signal fire. I wouldn't mind drawing a Taric. Let's boogie. Can they block? I guess not. Yeah, I wouldn't mind drawing a Taric. Mountain Goat. So I think I may just play Mountain Goat and not Precious Pet. That would allow me to have Kato and Whirling Death next turn. And obviously Kato and Elixir of Wrath, but I'd have like that uh, combination I could do one or the other. King of Trolls coming through. I'll knock him dead. Okay. Who gets tossed? So Pilk. Cascade and Elixir of Wrath, both. Go Let's do this. I give you muscles. Nothing's tougher than a troll. They're just willing to take eleven. Gosh, I could just, I could just try to kill them here, but we know that they have spells, so pretty likely they have frost. Like it's probably a frostbite spell. That'd be my guess.
Or Trundle. Get taken down so easily these days. Yeah, I was kind of thinking Harsh Winds. That's what I was thinking. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. I still have a lot of life over there. Definitely looks like Ruination. So I didn't I didn't play the precious pet because of Ruination. I do have ten cards in hand, so if they pass turn, I don't get to draw a card. I could throw away a couple spinning axes. Keep that from happening. Okay, so it wasn't ruination, at least not yet. Yep. Okay, so it's still not going to be able to kill me. Very well for them. My blade calls. Don't really know exactly what I want to do with these spinning axes. So this means <clears throat> I don't die to atrocity by putting this 2-1 in front. Alright, 13 damage. So both Vengeance and Atrocity defeat me right now. But if they don't have vengeance or atrocity, I think I could. I could think I can win this. Yeah, and and, and I think that I just kind of have to go all in. I don't think there's really a better option. Like, I don't think there's a way I can really play around vengeance. Oh, I don't know why I discard that with spinning axe. That was not a good discard. I didn't mean to do that. This garden. I can try to play around a little bit of life gain. See, like the timer just runs out while you're playing spinning axes. Like it just the timer just keeps going down while the animations are happening. Like what if I had another spinning axe I wanted to play? I wasn't I mean I was continually to play spinning axes. It's not like I'd stopped doing something. But I, I should have had the other spinning axe and still kept that and discard one of these other ones. Could have dealt one more point of damage to them if I wouldn't discard that other spinning axe. My grenadier and Tarek would have been gone, but I could have dealt one point of damage. To the hmm. Yep. GG's. So this is what losing feels like. Sucks. Okay. Um, yeah, good, good hand there. You know, like they had that Avros and Sentry on two, which was perfect, perfect blocker. You don't usually see that in that deck. That was a perfect blocker. And then of course they had ramp on three, trundle on four, ramp again on five, turn six, ice pillar plus Trindamir, turn seven, feel the rush, 
It doesn't get any better than that. And I still almost killed them. And, you know, like, we'd even have, like, a one drop to do, like, a little bit of extra damage with the attack token turn one. Um, so, yeah, like, their hand does not get any better than that. <laughs> and we almost killed them. So, let's see. Uh, but, yeah, I think I, I liked this. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I like this list. I think I do. And, um, yeah, I'll, uh, you know, keep practicing with it and everything. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be one of one of the three decks for next week. We'll probably spend it probably like later on in the week before uh, next Sunday. We'll probably spend like a, a day each playing like all three of these decks to get ready. So you know, like we'll probably spend a whole day playing Tarek Draven, a whole day play playing Poros Give It All, and then um, a whole day with our third deck, whether it's the Mid Range Frostbite or the Shivana Lux. We'll kind of decide that today, or you know. Uh, maybe get closer to that decision today. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's Tarek Draven, though. So uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.